He may not have won an Academy Award, he may not be an A-list actor, he may not even star in major studio movies anymore, but there is one thing that 64-year-old actor Eric Roberts can brag about. He has more acting credits than any other actor working today. Period. Full stop. Actors who started around the same time as him and are still working today don't even come close. Tom Hanks, only 93 acting credits. Denzel Washington, 60 credits. Meryl Streep, 93 credits. Even Bruce Willis, a guy who'll do any movie if you meet his quote, has only 133 credits to his name. Add all of those up and you still don't even come close to the amount of credits Eric Roberts has. According to IMDb, Eric Roberts has an astonishing 614 acting credits to his name with his first official acting role as Ted Bancroft on the soap opera Another World in 1977. So basic math, in a career spanning 44 years, the guy is averaging almost 14 acting gigs per year. Basically, if you have watched any sort of filmed entertainment in the past four decades, chances are you've run smack dab into Eric Roberts' performances. Movies, TV, commercials, animated series, music videos, remember him as the bad guy in the iconic Mariah Carey video We Belong Together from 2005? The man has done everything. And scrolling through his list of acting credits is an exercise in patience. Seriously, you need an entire afternoon to get through it. And some of the titles are, well, how do we say this truly WTF? For every appearance on shows like Glee, Justified, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and Suits, there are stints on telenovelas, guest spots on random TV shows like Lost Girl, and Lifetime movies like Stalked by My Doctor. And for every big movie he does, like Inherent Vice, The Expendables, and The Dark Knight, there's movies with names like Beverly Hills Bandits, The Demonic Dead, and Santa's Boot Camp. All real movies. Which begs the question, how did Eric Roberts get to this point? How did a guy who was Oscar nominated and Golden Globe nominated, who was poised to be the next big thing early on in his career, become more known for how much he works? With other actors his age winding down or becoming more choosy with their roles, why did it seem like Eric Roberts would literally do anything? Let's find out. Roberts was born in Biloxi, Mississippi in 1956, but grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. His parents ran a children's theater company, but they split up when he was 15 after a contentious marriage. After the divorce, his sisters, Lisa and Julia, yes, that Julia Roberts, who only has 66 acting credits to her name, lived in Smyrna, Georgia with their mother, Betty, while Eric lived in Atlanta with his father, in the early and mid 80s, Roberts was going to be the next big star, poised to become a bona fide leading man. He basically went three for three, starring in three movies that would tag him as the next Robert De Niro, only 125 credits, in terms of intensity and penchant for diving deep into method acting. In 1983, his role in Star 80 as an out of control, violent coke addict of a husband earned him another Golden Globe nomination. In 1984, he starred opposite Mickey Rourke, only 92 credits, and Daryl Hannah only 96 credits in the cult classic indie The Pope of Greenwich Village. And in 1985, his role as an escaped convict in the movie Runaway Train opposite John Voight, only 98 credits, earned him a Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination. Roberts was becoming known as a dedicated, edgy talent with the good looks to become a bankable major movie star. The thing is, that didn't really happen. He should have a longer leading man career, similar to Harrison Ford, only 84 credits, or Johnny Depp, only 93 credits. But his leading man status barely lasted the 80s. So what happened? Well, cocaine happened. Eric Roberts had a decade-long battle with cocaine. As Roberts himself explained about movies in the 1980s, quote, you'd arrive on set in the morning and they'd send you to the prop truck where there'd be bowls of cocaine. Everybody from executives to craft service was doing cocaine. In 1981, high on cocaine, Eric had a horrific car accident and was in a coma for three days. Says Roberts, quote, I had to learn how to walk again and talk again. It was really hard. Eric spent two months going to rehab every day, getting back in shape, but he continued to have short-term memory issues, not uncommon with brain trauma. Not to mention, his left-hand ring finger was permanently disfigured in the accident. And in 1987, the actor was arrested for possession of pot and cocaine, as well as resisting arrest. 
Eric Roberts never stopped acting despite the fact that the big roles stopped coming. Roberts once told his wife Eliza that if he could work every day as an actor, he'd be happy. So that's what he did no matter what movie, show, or role. Says Roberts, quote, I started making a bunch of B-movies, bam, 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 one after the other, and then suddenly two, three years have passed and I made like 30 films in two, three years. And rather than stop that train, Roberts basically ripped the brakes off, acting in as many projects as possible, essentially becoming the hardest working actor in Hollywood based on volume alone. According to Vanity Fair's calculations, in 2017, he appeared in 74 movies alone. That's two more movies than Eddie Murphy's entire movie career. Granted, some, okay, a lot of the movies Roberts has done over the course of his career are not the highest of quality, and some of them you probably never even heard of, let alone seen. For example, here's just a taste of some of the movies Eric Roberts did in the year 2014 alone. Seal Patrol, Red Prophecies, Camp Dread, Scavenger Killers, Halloween Hell, It's Not a Date, Two Bedroom, One Bath, Bigfoot vs. D.B. Cooper. Again, all real movies, and this was only a partial list. Roberts himself has famously stated, quote, you obviously don't pay attention, I turned down nothing. And nothing proves this sentiment more than 2013's A Talking Cat. And yes, the exclamation point followed by the question mark, followed by yet another exclamation point is the correct title, despite being so, so wrong grammatically. A direct-to-video movie about, of course, a magical talking cat voiced by Roberts, the movie looks like it was made for a dollar. The story goes that Roberts apparently recorded his entire voiceover role in 15 minutes, and it sounds like he did so with his cell phone in a random bathroom. Roberts has even appeared in a mini movie made to sell a multi-million dollar house. His wife Eliza explains, quote, If a house is over $20 million, they make these little movies where they show off the house. Eric was in one. He pretended to live there. He was the husband. He had a fake kid and a fake wife who was way too young for him. And they showed him lounging and drinking coffee. And because of this work ethic, because of this willingness to take on any role in any project, all you have to do is basically ask a sort of what a movie star he could have been image clung to him, an image that made him hip to an entire generation of fans who have no idea that in the early 80s, he was considered to be the next Al Pacino. Only 62 credits? Seriously, Al? Try harder. And now a whole contingent of Hollywood rappers and other musicians have embraced Roberts. In fact, there was a time that having Eric Roberts appear in a music video became the cool thing to do. Says Roberts, quote, well, let me tell you what happened. I get offered a video. I say instantly no. My wife says, of course you're doing it. They're called the killers. They're huge. And you're doing the video. No questions asked. And it's a huge hit. I do Akon next. Another huge hit. I do Mariah Carey. It goes to number one. So I was like a lucky charm for a while. I got a whole new audience. As he heads into his senior citizen years, Eric Roberts has no plans on stopping acting. His daughter, Emma Roberts, is an actor herself with already 55 acting credits, which isn't at her dad's level yet, but come on, who is? As of this recording, according to IMDb, the man is slated to appear in 13 films this year alone and has already filmed an additional five. Eric Roberts just loves to act, and that's why he's been around for so long and why now he's becoming something of a cult hero. And after doing so many projects for so many years, Roberts has gone from, is there anything he won't do, to, is there anything he can't do?